Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, get this file done so that you can practice your extrusions. This is an extrude exercise for you. Uh, and we're gonna start uh, with a simple, um, very simple template. And we need to copy these shapes with extruding only and that way we can get this done. So extruding is very important when you start modeling and this is a great exercise for you to get familiarized with how to extrude. So let's go ahead and get started guys. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new scene. Don't save. Uh, hit the space bar, go to the front um, view, hit the space bar and let's load under view image plane import image so that we can load that reference and notice how I have already on the desktop an extrude project and in the source images folder is my extrude reference image so I'm gonna click on that and hit open there it is in the attribute editor um, I can adjust the transparency so that it's not as bright and I can work with it a little bit better. And so I'm gonna put it to about 0.4 right there, 0.4. The other thing I wanna do is hit the space bar and W to move, and I'm gonna move it back uh, about three or four units. Uh, just because uh, what I'd like to do is work, every time you uh, create a, an object, it creates it right in the center and I want this to be off the center so that I can work here in the center and not mess with this one. Okay, so I'm gonna delete that. Uh, and in fact, I shouldn't have even deleted it because I need a box right there. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to color it blue. Go to the rendering shelf and click on a new Lambert material here it is, Lambert 2. I'm just going to call it cube and color it blue. Maybe a little lighter blue, like that. Now I'm going to uh, hit R to scale, W to move, and I'm going to place one right there. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and then clone it to right there I might have to scale that up a little bit clone it again and then clone it again so that way we have uh, all four starting cubes in place uh, and so that we can get go ahead and get started uh, while we're just starting it's a good idea to go ahead and save your file I'm just gonna call it extrude number two and start with this one this one's the easiest one so that I can show you how to extrude here. Uh, I am going to center it. And then what I'd like to do, is hit the space bar for a quad view and hit F to fit. You've got the cube selected. If I hit F, it'll fit it in the view. Uh, but I'm gonna be working on the front view and the perspective. So I'm just gonna hit this uh, dual pane window right here this layout so that I can have the front and the perspective at all times and so with the perspective I'm gonna, I'm gonna click the right mouse button hold and then I'm gonna click face so that I can work with faces I'm gonna select this one the one on the right and then I'm going to go to my, go to my front view while I have the move tool selected this is the move tool I am going to hold the shift key down and click on the red arrow so that I can extrude it out in the x-axis. I'm gonna select here in the perspective, select the top one now because I'm gonna extrude up, hold down the shift key and extrude it up. Option, middle mouse button to move this, the view. I'm gonna do it again hold down the shift and then extrude up select this side one now 
and I'm gonna hold down the shift key and click on the red arrow hold down the shift click on the red arrow and extrude it out again in the x-axis click on this top one I'm gonna click on the green arrow hold on the shift click click and drag the green arrow all the way up boom done with half of it option middle mouse button to move and then option uh, left mouse button to rotate I'm gonna click on that uh, I've got it selected hold down the shift and then I'm gonna click on the red arrow to extrude out click on this top one hold down the shift click on the green arrow to extrude let go click on this left one hold down the shift key and click on the red arrow to extrude out and we're done with this first one easy peasy let's do this one at the bottom now uh, remember if you select it you can hit F to fit in the window and then F here to fit in its window and this one's a little bit different we're gonna we're gonna extrude two faces at once option left mouse button to rotate click right click and hold to go to face mode and I'm gonna select this one on the right rotate the view hold down the shift you'll see that little plus hold on the shift and click this one so I've got two selected that one and that one not the bottom not the top just that one and that one in this view I am going to click command E to extrude right here command E to extrude and then I'm going to extrude along its normal which is this blue arrow and you see that I'm extruding twice both of them at the same time which is cool and you can click off of it to accept it uh, option left click to rotate I am going to select this one shift this one option middle mouse button to move the view and then W for the move tool hold down the shift and then sh extrude down on this one uh, I am going to switch from face mode right click and hold and switch to vertex mode I'm gonna grab these two by uh, clicking outside hold down the shift click and drag and grab those two so I'm grabbing those two and those two there so that one shift that one and then that one and then that one I can I could have grabbed it like that but I think it's a little easier if you just marquee select that those two and shift marquee select those two R for the scale tool and I'm going to scale uh, only in the X and you can see those move I am going to go and click and hold to face mode I'm gonna select this face shift select this face W to move hold on the shift to extrude and then extrude down that's it we're done with this one that was easy uh, the next one is this one I'm gonna go to object mode to select the entire object hit F hit F and we're gonna do this star and on this one uh, click and hold and go to face mode I'm going to select the bottom rotate the view shift select the, the side and then shift select the top and then the left so basically I have all of them selected except for the front and the back or we could have done this we could have done this um, deselect everything and marquee select all of them to see that I didn't select the, the front one nor the back one but the bottom sides and top are selected in the front view do command E to extrude and I am going to extrude along its normal right there 
Uh, but I see I've got a problem because it's not looking like the star. Uh, I need to turn off keep faces together. Turn that off by clicking on the on. Boom, that's off. That's the, And that's good. Now I'm going to extrude just a little bit further out till I get to the edge. And then I am going to click on this blue little square right here to activate the scale. See, right now if I click here in the center, uh, I still have the move tool. I'm going to undo that. But if I click on the little blue button, I activate the scale tool. And now this center is my scale. And it will scale proportionately all the way to where I need it to be. There it is. Just click off of it to accept those. Option. Left click to rotate. I'm going to select that one. Shift that one. Option to rotate that one to that one. Option to rotate. Shift to add to the selection. Hold on the shift to add to the selection. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them selected. In the front view, Command E, and then extrude along its normals. Boom, and we're done with the star. Uh, the next one is, hit F, F, and I om I'm only going to select the top one because we're only going to extrude this top one uh, and I don't need to see the um, perspective. So um, I've got the top one selected. I'm going to move down a little bit. Uh, option, middle mouse button, and W to move. And if I just move it, I'm not extruding it. Command Z to undo. I'm going to hold down the shift to extrude, and I'm going to grab it. I can grab it from the green arrow to extrude up, or I can grab it from the middle to extrude wherever I need it extruded. So I'm going to put it right there, uh, E to rotate, and then W to adjust it right there. Very cool. So again, this is going to be a lot of the extrusions. Shift to extrude, right to the center, E to rotate, and I'm grabbing, uh, I'm grabbing this blue one because I'm rotating in the Z axis. Uh, this blue one in the middle, not the not the outside one, this one, and then I'm rotating it, and then W to adjust it. Shift, extrude, E to rotate, and then W to adjust. That simple. Um, option, middle mouse to, um, to move my view. Now, check this out. I'm going to um, hold down the shift to extrude it, and then E to rotate it, but if I miss that that line, if I don't if I click just off of it and I click in the center, I'm going to rotate it in all directions. So that's going to be off. I need to undo that and I make sure that I select just the Z axis and then W to adjust, shift to extrude. E to rotate, W to adjust, extrude, shift to extrude, E. I'm going to speed up the video, get this done, and then I'll, I'll see you on the other side. And there we have it. 
we're done. Um, this, this exercise is actually a very good exercise for you to practice extrusions. Extrusions are very, very important when modeling, polygon modeling. Once you have the grasp of how to extrude and, and where and how to control it, uh, modeling seems to become easy, um, very easy. So guys, I hope that you liked the video. Uh, if you did, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.